Welcome back, another episode. The majority of the primary characters of Masters of the Air are either dead or in enemy territory as the show moves into the second half of its first season. While Bucky struggles to survive behind enemy lines in Episode 6, Part 6, the remaining crew members of the 100th Bomb Group are granted time off to recuperate from their demanding work schedules. Bucky was at a farm in enemy territory when we first met him. He roams the pastures in search of sustenance and protection but it doesn't take long for Bucky to be found and apprehended. Bucky travels through the heart of Nazi Germany on a train. When he observes the impact of the conflict on the adversary, he is taken aback. The city is in ruins, with buildings in flames as the hostages are led through it. The German locals laugh and ridicule them as they go through the streets. They soon become enraged and start attacking the detainees. Bucky is thrashed, and a few Americans are slain by the German citizens. He collapses on the floor, unconscious. This gang has only one survivor, Bucky. Then he wakes up in a carriage among a pile of decaying bodies. They are taking him to be buried in the woods. The Germans are not aware of Bucky's existence. He poses as dead before escaping. A breathless Bucky is running through the jungle for his life in a suspenseful scene. The team back at base is starting to lose hope. Of the 35 crew members who started out, 32 have left in just four months. Under the stress of the conflict, crewmen have taken to drinking, fighting, and sleeping around. Although they make every effort to move past the atrocities and traumas of war, morale is at an all-time low. In order to represent the 100th Bomb Group at an Allied Nations conference, Crosby is dispatched to Oxford University. It's an opportunity to keep Crosby occupied and prevent him from thinking about all the devastation and death going on around him. He makes friends with Sandra, his new British roommate, in Oxford. Rosenthal and his team are granted a week of vacation and taken to a mansion in the third plotline to recuperate. But Rosenthal wants to get back to work, he has no interest in lounging about or playing games. Having finished three missions in three days, he feels that he is in a groove. Rosenthal was unwilling to give up. But eventually, Rosenthal relaxes and spends some time with his crew. Crosby and Sandra reconnect at Oxford and get closer to one another. They discuss their family and the conflict. Speaking candidly, Crosby talks about Bubbles. Because he stole Bubbles' job, he holds himself responsible for Bubbles' demise. Crosby believes that he ought to have passed away. Sandra claims that Hitler is solely responsible for all of the devastation and fatalities. The couple attends a party later. Even though Crosby is married and has a wife, it is obvious that he likes Sandra. Just as they are about to kiss, Sandra gets a critical message. She must go right now. Sandra gives Crosby her phone number and requests that he give it to her if he is ever back in the area. She then makes off with a stolen bike. The saga of Bucky comes to a close in this episode. He is discovered unconscious from exhaustion in the woods. Bucky is being taken prisoner one more time. After that, Louis Hoffman's character, LT, Hossman takes him to be questioned. Hossman acknowledges that he already knows a great deal about Bucky. He extends an offer of whiskey and a cigarette. Although Bucky takes the candy, he won't provide the German with any further details. About Gale and the squadron's most recent mission, Hossman queries Bucky. They believe Bucky is a spy because his name does not appear on any aircraft records. When Bucky doesn't comply, he gets put back on a train. Bucky is transferred to a concentration camp in the last scene. Reunited with Gale, he spots his friends from behind the fencing. Gale and his crewmen seem to have made it through the previous operation unscathed, only to be taken prisoner by the Germans. In spite of the fact that they are now prisoners of war, Bucky and Gale are relieved to be reunited and to see one another alive in the bittersweet ending. For more, subscribe.